In this video, I'm going to talk about two illustrators that I find interesting, and I hope that you will enjoy getting to know them too. Hello, my name is Joan Herlinger, and I'm a master's student at Falmouth University's Flexible Online Illustration Program. Since graduating in 2010, Jean-Julien has developed a practice ranging from painting and illustration to photography, video, costume, installations, books, posters, and clothing. His clients include the New York Times, the New Yorker, the Guardian, Beams, RCA Records, the Cono, Colette, SC Magazine, National Geographic, Le Grand Palais, Le Centre Pompidou, Amnesty International, Esquire, Le Coq Sportif, Jardin des Plantes in Nantes, uh, Mr. Porter, Hello Amour, Champion USA, Salomon, Petit Bateau, Vogue, and many more. Jean has also published numerous books with acclaimed houses including Fiandon, uh, Walker Books, Comme de Gion, and Hato Press. In 2016, he published his first monograph with Tenue. He is represented in the UK by the Wiley Agency. Jean is also shown around the world in museums and galleries in Paris, London, Brussels, New York, San Francisco, Los Angeles, Berlin, Tokyo, Seoul, Singapore, and beyond. He explains, I'm not really using illustration in the conventional sense that I have been taught, which is more narrative. I have a very traditional education in graphic design with topography, the rules and construction of image making. It started as something academic, but over the years, it's something that I have had the opportunity to explore as something more organic and hybrid. He has three goals for his work. Firstly, I work to produce a coherent and eclectic body of work. Second, I work to convey ideas and messages in a playful way. And third, I work with my brother on films. Jean and his brother, the animator and musician Nico Julien, create beautiful soulful animations that combine the two brothers' work in a complementary way under the name of the Julien brothers. He says, I'm pleased with the diversity of my practice so far. I feel very lucky to be able to do so many commercial jobs and still have a personal practice with shows and self-initiated projects with my brother and others. It's important for me to keep a personal space laboratory where I try stuff and where I'm able to develop a much more personal language. The second illustrator I have chosen is Molly Fairhurst. Molly is an artist, illustrator and animator from Yorkshire based in Bristol in the UK. I wanted to talk about Molly because of the fluidity of her work that gives it a sense of freedom and simplicity. Her style is playful, assured and definitive. She is interested in movement, figure and feeling. This particularly interests me because I sometimes overwork a piece and make things harder than they need to be. Also, I'm interested in simple handmade animations. It's nice that, explained, Molly's work deftly flits between the figurative and the abstract and can be read in a way that shows she has a healthy understanding and respect for the history of art. She says, my approach recently is in a lot of movement, trying to capture feelings and atmosphere through a physicality. She is closer to the beginning of her career. than Jean Julien. Since graduating from Leeds University in 2017, she has worked with clients including H&M, The New York Times, Oda, The Creative Independent, MailChimp, Nike ACG, 
Bloomberg Business Week, The Stranger, Intern Magazine, Converse, Animal, No Bar Press. We present Shopify, Positive Stories for Negative Times, It's Nice ne That, and the Cartoon Network. She's also known for her project, There Are At Least A Thousand Ways To Draw A Tiger, which began as a dissertation discussing the ideas of identity, isolation, obsession, and authenticity that surround the discourse of so-called outsider art. One subject, the tiger, was chosen as an element of forced obsession. With so much time thinking about tigers, it was soon established that there must be at least a thousand ways to draw one or anything at all. Speaking about her style, she explains, the first year of my degree was, funnily, the one where I was most concerned about making something polished or professional appear appearing, she explained. Of course. It's still a concern that I should make something that is well crafted and applied, but beforehand I was reserved in doing what I already knew, being derivative of myself and perhaps others. I'd like to think that over the years this type of working made way for something that was looser, more open to experiment, and I started to think more about what I was doing from a more critical perspective. I hope you've enjoyed my video about Jean Julien and Molly Fairhurst, and I hope you find some way to enjoy your day today by doing something creative. Thank you.